Hi and welcome back to another episode on how to hack. So over here I have Firefox web browser running. So we are going to access into a web application server. So I'm going to enter 182.168.0.212. So this is Metasploitable 2 that we have running via our Oracle virtual box. So over here as you can see we have MSF admin is logged into Metasploitable and we got the IP address of 192.168.0.212 so of course Metasploitable 2 is a vulnerable web server that allow us to do different kind of penetration testing not just on the server end but also on the web application server end so we have Mutilude, we have DVWA which can be used for us in terms of web application testing understand more about open web application security project and the associated vulnerabilities so over here, I have Mutility running, and I can go under OWAP's top 10, and of course, we can look at the top 10 web application vulnerabilities, and we can also look at a couple of other things. So over here, for example, we have SQL I, extract data, bypass authentication, insert injection, blind SQL via timing, and so on and so forth. So we have a lot of different ways for us to actually learn about cyber. And of course here, we have one particular item which is add to your block. So I can click on that. And of course, uh, we actually have created a JavaScript attack on that. So I'm going to click on reset database. So the good thing about Mutilidae is that you can very quickly reset the data inside the database that allow you to retry some of the attack methods, especially if you screw up the databases or you screw up the test environment. And you can come back here again, reset the database, and you can go back and try again your different attacks. So once I'm here, as we can see, we are on the web application server end, and we can see the entry over here. So we have an anonymous, and we have the date, and we have the comment. So for example, if I enter test, one, two, three, I click save block entry, and immediately we'll get another anonymous block and all these items that are being inserted into the system. So what I'm going to do next is I can actually try to inject any kind of script to see whether the input forms are being sanitized. So I can enter for example script and I can close the script and I can put for example alert and we can put for example hacked. Okay so this will do a pop-up of the word hacked. So if I click on save block entry immediately we can see that the JavaScript managed to get past the web application server and if I scroll all the way down I can see that there is a blank entry here but it's not really blank it is being loaded as a JavaScript so we're going to introduce to you web developer option so if I do a right click and I click on inspect element okay and we'll come to this console all right so this is the web developer console you can also access it from the top right corner of Firefox and you can click on the web developer and you can click on toggle tools, inspector, web console and all these different other tabs. All right. So of course over here, I can actually look at TD. So TD is a table. So it is a table column row. So we can actually expand this a little more and we can see that this is the item that we have actually injected into the web application server. And of course it has a script opening and a script closing and an alert pop-up called hacked. So immediately we can do inspection of element. Okay, so very easily we can understand what's going on. So I can also inspect element on the text box. Okay, so we can see the, the rows, the columns, and all these different data. So that's the whole purpose of inspect element to understand what are the values that are actually being presented to us in terms of looking at what data are acceptable, what data may not be sanitized, so that's one of the ways that we can actually look at using the web developer option. Okay, so we have uh, cross-site scripting as well. So we have via input method. All right, so we can uh, add to your block, view someone's block, uh, DNS lookup, and all these different injection method. All right, so the other thing that we also want to look at is in terms of trying to get more data. All right, so we have HTML injection as well. Uh, we have uh, add to your block. We have HTTP haters. We have DOM injection cookie injection, capture data page, command injection, JavaScript injection, and many other different capabilities for us to test out the attack method. All right, so um, one of those methods that we're going to look at is also in terms of going back into DVWA. All right, so we can hit enter back to the main page, 
on to DVWA. So we can enter admin, and we can enter the password, and we can log into the site. So of course, once we're in the site, we can actually change the script security to low so that it's easier for us to learn, especially if you're starting out on web application penetration testing. So once you've changed it to low, we can also click on, for example, on SQL injection, uh, we also have cross-site scripting reflected and so on, our cross-site scripting stored. So what we're going to do now is we are, we can click on setup and I'm going to create and reset the database again because again, the great thing about DVWA is that you can reset the database, especially if you've been doing a lot of different kind of attacks and you want to retry again, all if you just inserted a lot of different kind of attack methods that kind of screwed up the database, then you can revert back to its original format. So going back into XSS store, all right, so this is cross-site scripting. And again, this is very similar to the earlier tutorial that you saw on the Mutilla Day. So I can enter, for example, tasks, hello, and I can hit sign guest book. All right, so immediately we'll see a new data being inserted into the database. So again, we are testing once again for script attacks. Okay, so we can enter script and we are able to enter alert and then we have for example uh, hacked it all right and we can actually click on sign guest book and once again we are able to see that we have the ability to get a pop-up so once you have javascript attack being enabled there's a lot of things that you can do you can do redirection to a different site you can inject the browser exploitation framework so you can inject a script into the site and immediately you'll be able to run your own scripts inside a legitimate site so you can cause a lot of damage for whichever user is logging into the site. So once again, if I click on inspect element, so over here, once again, if I open it up, we can see that we managed to inject the script into the site. And this is how we get the script alert running. So you could, as I mentioned earlier, it could be many different kind of attacks. It could be the script for redirection to a different site. It could be for browser exploitation framework, which I've seen earlier before. So for example, if I were to open up a new private window, Okay, and if I, for example, go to 192.168.0.212, so I go back to the Mutilla Day, which we have already injected a different script. All right, so I uh, injected the hacked script into the site. So what's what's going to happen next is that we're now logging as a different user. So we can go to OOPS, we can go to the, for example, um, HTML injection. Okay, and we'll be able to actually click on enter your block and immediately, even though we're logging in as a different user, we will still see the same JavaScript being run as hacked. The reason for that is because whoever is accessing to the website has the malicious script being injected into the site. So whoever reaches the legitimate site on this page will load that script and the hackers can do whatever they want and they will be able to get a lot more damage from here. So with that, I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And I'll try my best to answer any of your questions. So remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.